I read some edgy stuff sometimes. I, I, I notice the important details. No, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't want to know. He's Japan! I'll send yeah, you a letter! He's like, wait, what's happening? Is everyone gonna explode? <sighs> Mind blown. Yeah, That's what it that... seemed like in that 10th episode. I was like, what the fuck? Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the Pseudo Random Podcast. Uh, I'm your host, CJ. Here with me today, we have uh, Roberto. Hey. We also have Clucker. What's up? And we have a uh, special guest as well today. It's uh, Sean, also known as Roy Shadow. Hey, everybody. Cool. So, um, yeah, what the podcast is here, it's uh, uh works like in like book club with anime and manga. We recommend stuff, watch it, talk about it, whatever. I've explained it enough by now. If you've made it this far on the podcast, you probably know what the fuck we're doing, what we do. Um, but still, along comes with that, a uh, huge spoiler warning for everything that we're going to be talking about. And just generally anything, because we can forget sometimes, so we kind of just talk about shit. Um, the main things we're going to be spoiling a lot today are um, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, Volume 1, which is chapters 1 through 8. As well as this fucking name, uh... My mental choices are completely interfering with my high school romantic comedy, or something like that. I think I fucked it up. Yeah. Also known as, which Sean pointed out today, a shortened version, uh, Noah Kome, which is much better. <laughs> um, cool, so, um, yeah, uh, we're going over today, we're going to be talking about those two, then we're going to go into anything else we've been watching or reading, and then after that we're going to be um, going over a random topic of the day, which I think we forgot to talk about today before we started so it's really going to be random because we don't know <laughs> all right <laughs> we got this uh cool so that's that's gonna be interesting um okay cool um let's go ahead and get started um so let's go ahead and get uh sean who recommended uh naokome uh to give a quick description of what it is and why he chose it all right perfect uh so this anim- anime I I don't really want to say it's one of my favorites, but it is is definitely hilarious. It is a um, comedy, yeah, just, more, just not even really slice of life. It's just comedy anime focusing on the main character Kanade as he has to deal with this phenomenon known as absolute choice. He has no idea where it came from, but essentially all it is is every so often as he just goes through his days, he is uh, a voice appears in his head and he's given one of usually two options and. Both of these options are usually stuff you'd never normally do on, on an actual day, and usually absolutely painful or hilarious. Um, for other and people, so, not him. For, yeah, for yeah. other people, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and so, painful for him. Um, going, going through, he actually finds a way to get rid of this absolute choice through a series of challenges, and that's pretty much what you get to see. Him dealing with absolute choice while also completing these challenges. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> cool pretty pretty good description there um so yeah uh roberto and clicker are the ones who have not seen it so we actually wanted to get the the conversation started off with them so let's get clicker to go ahead and start off <laughs> all right so i so far really like the series a lot um i find it hilarious that i find it hilarious how he met chocolate and how chocolate even got her name um I find it hilarious that she seems like a dunce at times, but once she either gets A, drunk, or gets bonked in the head, she's just super useful all of a sudden, and then she'll go back to normal. Um, She's really interesting. Um, I prefer her alter ego where she's actually useful compared to her other self. She, she's, uh, I'd actually have to disagree a little bit. I actually like, like, she's one of the few characters, at least with that aspect of her, like being... Because she's actually, she's fucking Moe as shit at that point. Like, she's one of the few that I actually like. Because I usually hate Moe. Like, fucking terrible. But she's actually pretty funny like that, typically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Anyway, go, go, continue. <laughs> um, so, I really like her. Um, I really like the aspect of the main character having to deal with this absolute choice thing. And how hilarious it can be sometimes. And how much hilarity ensues based on the choices. I'm trying to think of one of the most hilarious choices I've seen so far. Um, See, one, one of my favorites is still one of the early ones. Where <laughs> it's, uh, pretty sure he's in the classroom. It's like the first or second episode. It's something like that. 
where he has to either take off his uh, shirt and shout like a true Japanese man, or take off <laughs> yes. like his bottom and pants and stuff, and yes. shout like I think an Amazonian warrior or something. Yeah, yeah, that was hilarious. Like, see, things like that, I'm just like, how the fuck do you even do that? I don't know <laughs> what shouting like a Jap- true Japanese man would be. I mean, I yeah, guess it's no. different if you're Japanese or whatever, but like, I don't know. Half of them I wouldn't know how to do. <laughs> yep. He somehow somehow figures out how to do them all. And then on top of that, he's doing these challenges now to try and get rid of the, the curse. Oh, the missions, yeah. Yeah, mm. the missions. So it's it's interesting. Um, I don't think I've seen all the missions. Um, I know the first mission was to make uh, Yukihara. Yeah, it was Yukihara laugh, which... She just constantly thinks he's insulting her, which is kind of funny. Oh, it's so sad when she like got all sad and like broke down and cried and everything too. Oh, oh, I, I felt so bad. So much emotion. <laughs> yeah, oh, curious, I, I Parker, where, didn't expect that. Where are you actually at? If you um, like, if you don't know where, did you actually finish it or no? Um, I thought I. F- it's what uh oh okay. I have one more episode to go. Damn it, Clifford. Oh, pish posh. <laughs> usually we do nine episodes, all right? Usually no, we, do we usually nine. do like half a season or a season. Oh, I guess you're right about that. We only did nine starting with JoJo's. That's the only <laughs> one that we did that with. Oh. Wait, okay. Hang on. Wait, wait. Does the OVA count as an episode? Uh, I do, I, but I don't think we counted it for this week. I, I didn't, I didn't specify that, so yeah. Oh, okay. Cause so you should have the... watched ten. Okay, I did watch ten, but okay. I was counting okay, the OVA good. as one of. Okay, then never mind. And you're fine. We're good. Okay. All right. Okay. So I really liked how his phone would violently shake him every time he completed a goal. <laughs> yeah. That was amazing. Yeah, I, I I forgot about that. Yeah, I think one of the most awkward situations was when I think yeah I think the student council president hugged him. Yep. And then that completed <laughs> the mission of him having to get all the girls saying that he they liked him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was great. Uh, man, like, I don't know, I, I guess the the reason why I like this one so much, because it is definitely not at all, like, a sophisticated anime, it doesn't make you think, this is one of the ones where if you think, it's probably gonna make it worse for you. <laughs> like, you just need to sit down and just watch some, like, actually, typically pretty damn good slapstick comedy and stuff, and occasional, like, harem romance elements in there and stuff, but, like, I don't know. Decent amount of fan service every now and then, too, which is pretty nice. The whole episode about him trying to see a girl's underwear, so. <laughs> oh, man. That was... yeah. yeah. The interpretation for that one was interesting. Yeah, because yeah, it played on the wording of the mission. Yeah, because the, the, the exact wording was, I forgot the fucking chick's name. Let's see if I can find that. Oh, uh, it was, uh, is it okay. Konagi? Yeah, K- Konagi. Yeah, the, the, the other wording other one, was, yeah. see Konagi's panties being worn. Yep. But it didn't specify who had to wear them or anything like that. And, yeah, it ended up being, like, somehow her friend got a gift for her or something. Or a gift for Konagi that was supposed to be for Konagi and was wearing it. And he ended up seeing her. And then, yeah, that ended up causing it to, to <laughs> trigger and everything. Work. Yo. Play and on that... words. Hmm? The play on words. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I... But one of the things I did completely forget about, though, from last time I watched it, was was the violent shaking that happened whenever yeah. he uh, he completes a mission. Though that's one of the things that you you typically forget episode to episode too, because it happens not that much really. So whenever it does happen, it's still pretty goddamn funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. I was very pleasantly surprised on how well the anime did for how short it was. Um, usually whenever I see an episode be only like 10 or 12 episodes, I worry that they didn't have enough time to do what they wanted to do. Um, but this series pretty much covered everything. They covered all the missions. They covered a good portion of it. I wish it continued on. I wish it went on longer, but it didn't, yeah. but it was, it's, it was really good for how short it was. Yeah. I'm I'm not entirely sure. Like, I, I, I think it may have been like canceled, like most of the way through and that's why it was only 10 i'm, I'm not sure i don't yeah. know it, it seems like that i i don't remember exactly yeah all i remember is i just the ending it, it really upset me yeah, it, Speaking of yeah. Which, i gotta find that i forgot what happened at the end of course this doesn't <laughs> well, fucking explain the ending the the sheet that i have that have had a description for every other episode it doesn't have one for 10 so. um they yeah yeah that is okay yeah that's 10 they all go to the water park and then 
a bunch of stuff happens, and at the end, he's given one final ab- absolute choice to say that he loves one of the three girls, either Shokalot, uh, Yukihira, or Yuoji, and instead of that, no, then there was the fourth option that yeah, just yeah. said something will happen. Oh, and oh, then, yeah. yeah, and then he freaks out because he tells the, the, his teacher, and he's like, oh my god, you chose that option. And then he goes running off. <laughs> and, and then, like, he's, like, Chocolat comes and talks to him and is like, do you like me? And it was like, just, do you not dislike me? Yeah, and it was just like, there was no real conclusion to that. He was just like, yeah. I like all my friends, but that's about it. And it's like, really? <laughs> See, that that was the thing that pissed me off the most. It was like, because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm used to, like, especially because I watch a lot of harem stuff and everything. It ends, dude doesn't pick somebody, moves on or whatever. But this one did just terrible with that and fucking everything else. Yeah. Not just the girls, but everything was just like, well, I mean, stuff keeps happening, whatever. It's like, yeah, oh, it's just like, no, fuck you. nothing got resolved, yeah. Oh, it, it annoyed the shit out of me, man. Yeah, I mean, like, aside from that, like, I absolutely loved, like, all the characters were great, or most of the characters were great. The super, the super Moe one, I couldn't stand. Um, the. Konagi, the the one yeah. who's been you see, you see. She's the type that I usually hate. Yeah. Like, no. There's that. Um there's the one who called everyone Onishan that drove me up a wall. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. So, so I love how like each of their characters was that type of character but to the extreme almost. Yeah. So like yeah. the girl the little sister, she called everyone an older brother, an older <laughs> sister. And the klutz was overly klutzy and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, super moe. Yeah. Yeah, there there so, there's a lot of things like that that just annoyed the shit out of me a lot. Like, I don't know. It's it's weird because it it's such actually a really good like unique premise for the show, but like there are a lot of things that were just super generic like that. Which I mean they they played on the strengths of it and everything. It ended up working out pretty well because of that, but I I feel there could have been they they could have played on the the diversity of it a lot more and the uniqueness of it more and well, potentially they- done better. Maybe maybe that's because they had such a short series. Maybe they could have done that with they had more episodes to do to 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 develop the characters more, to develop the relationships more. Like I I kept getting irritated every time that him and Chocolat were about to kiss, and then every time without <laughs> fail something would happen. And I was like, "Come on!" Yeah, yeah. So. It was just like, come on, just let it happen. You've teased it enough. Just <laughs> let it happen. And then the episode, I was like, all right, final episode. Come on, it's going to happen. It's, yeah, it's got to happen. Nope. nope. Not even just it's got to happen. Something has to happen. And, yeah, and anything. Nope. Any kind of resolution or just decision. Uh, no, we we'll can't just have make nice the things. world explode. Something. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> just like an, an anime about talking about the importance of choices and then no real yeah, choices that, are made. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about that. The fucking irony of that. Yeah, Not maybe that, that was the whole point. Oh my gosh, I'd be so mad. Oh, uh, maybe that that was the final joke. That yeah, didn't matter. mattered. Maybe. The whole thing they were talking about the whole time with all the choices mattering didn't matter. It didn't matter. <laughs> In the end, nothing mattered. Uh, the thing is, I don't, I don't think it actually covers all of the light novels or something. Though I'm not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Probably not. Uh, it seemed like oh, they could go going. I was interested, yeah, I was interested in it enough to look into the light novels, and I'm pretty sure the light novels are, like CJ said, still going on. Oh yeah, the manga's still going on, too. Yeah. So maybe they just caught up too quick, and we're just like, fuck, what do we do? That, uh, that could be it, too. It. <laughs> <laughs> just, alright, that's that's it, just just go home, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it that... seemed like, that did that episode was like, what the fuck? Yep. Like, oh, man. Maybe, who knows, they may release a second season. I would hope so. Who knows? That'd be very nice. Who knows? It's only it ha- it hasn't even been a year yet, so or True, yeah. I guess it has been a year since the OVA, but it's still possible. I mean, when did high school DXD second season come out? Two thousand thirteen? I think so. Something like that, yeah. Something Actually that's, like that. that sounds right. So and now they're just releasing the third season. So it's possible that they can release the second season of this may be in either this late this year or maybe early next year. Fingers crossed. I don't know. It it seems like with the way they ended it, it makes it a little bit harder to. Because with High School DxD, it's just like, hey, we finished an arc. And We're not going to tell you anything up. else. It's, it's yeah. done. Like, it's it's definitely set up to have more. This one is just like, the, the ending made it, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's kind of open-ended. Like, we could have more, but 
I'm not really sure. It's weird. But I mean, the fucking weird. anime itself is weird as shit anyway, so. It's true. I don't know what I expected from the ending it's, of that. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh. So I have a question. I know what CJ thinks, but which one, which personality do you like better on Chocolat, Roberto and Sean? Hmm. Uh, doesn't matter to me, honestly. Really? <laughs> Oh, do you Why not like either matter? one, or do you like both of them the same? Uh, I guess or do I'm you kind not of care for the tits? Yeah, I don't. I don't care. <laughs> none of none of the women in this series were strong. Roberto no. does not agree. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't meet my standards. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I see. Um, as for me, I honestly am not sure, just because of the fact that we didn't see too too much of the other side of. of uh, Chocolat to, I don't know, to make a super decision. I liked her as her kind of ditzy self, though, just because, as they referred, multiple, or, er, well, as whatever his name is, main character dude, sorry, I forgot his name. Main character dude. Amaxia. Fine. Yeah, 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 that's it. Uh, referred to her multiple times, like, she's just like a dog, and that's how she yeah. acted, and I found that just hilarious. Yeah. Oh, we, I forgot, we completely glazed over one part that was actually semi-important to the story and stuff, uh, the we we talked a little bit about the main character and like the choices he has to make and everything, but um we never talked about the teacher and how the teacher knows about it and she actually went through the same thing when she was younger. So That's she's true. actually helping him with his and stuff the whole time, which explains why at the end like she was like, You chose that one, the one that's it yeah. something is gonna happen. Yeah, and then she kinda just like runs off and he's like, Wait, what's happening? Is everyone gonna explode? It's it's pretty funny how she uh her character is and everything. And she actually even says at one point that it's uh, mainly developed because of how she, um, because of all the choices she had to make and everything in dealing with yeah. the curse and all that. Yeah. Like, it probably, like, ruined her personality. I think she said something like that. Yeah, yeah that, that messed her up. Yeah, there's that. And then there's also the fact that um, she couldn't, she couldn't give away everything in regards to challenges or about the curse itself just because it was literally just a lingering effect of the curse. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. I didn't actually get far enough to remember that part. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so overall, um, what what are your guys' impressions? Let's start off with Roberto. So I kind of really like the premise of the story, and while the funny choices were not unappreciated, I would have liked to have seen uh more choices that drove the story along, kind of like in the end. Yeah. What about you, Clicker? It, yeah, like Roberto said, it would have been interesting if there was a lot more choices that were actually affected more of the story, like. I could see a lot of choices where he'd have to almost either have to pick either one one girl over the other or he has to do something to try and like impress this one girl and that has to be a choice or something like that and so I could see it being very interesting and I could see them playing a lot on jealousy if they were able to get further into the series but um I I liked I liked it for how short it was, but it left it left me wanting more. Yeah, that's that's pretty much sums up almost exactly my feelings of it. Definitely left me wanting more. Yeah, I, I yeah, I agree that that seems to be the general consensus. <laughs> yeah. More episodes. Please. Please, Japan, I'll send yeah, you cause... a letter. Because <laughs> I also agree with, with CJ. It's like... <laughs> You're going to have it directly <laughs> labeled to Japan again? Yeah, really. I Please, please just take a picture of that uh... before you before you mail it out. I want to see how fast it gets returned. Uh, so probably. You need a lot of day. stamps. <laughs> Seriously. That or, I mean, you know, you could always just, like, fold it into a paper airplane and just send it <laughs> off and hope it gets there. Hey. The wind is just right, Sean. It'll get there. It'll get there. <laughs> Except when it blows in the other direction. <laughs> just, just right past you. <laughs> what? Why do you I, have I to imagine to Japan? <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> That's it. Not even like written out properly. Just big yeah. bullet. Just to yeah, Japan. To Japan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh god. So I've had a bunch of shit fall over on my desk. Okay. Um, Hold on. All right. Also, I like actually. how I need to just. I got it. This. It's all cool. So, also, God calls him on the phone all the time. Oh, uh, dude, the the God <laughs> in that. Oh, uh, he's so good. Like, yeah, I want to know more about the other one. Apparently, got pregnant and. Oh yeah, and then closed himself <laughs> off. Like became a shut in. Yeah. What the hell was That's that? She got bitch slapped. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that too. Like, I still, like, yeah, that whole thing is just, like, so weird and so ridiculous. And it's just, like, they never touched on that, but it'd be cool if they did. I makes you wonder if like, they touch on that a little bit more later on in the in the series and everything with the other stuff they're not only writing now, but have written as well. That's just not been animated. Yeah, that's good it then, because, yeah, be it's animated. just, like... Yeah, because, like, the, the current gods just like, yeah, I just, I kind of just got this position. It's like, did you file an application? Did you, you know, <laughs> go to HR and talk to people? <laughs> HR in heaven or something? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> maybe, maybe he also went through the choice games, and one of the choices was, or the choice curse, and one of the choices was to become oh, God. Shit. Ooh. Become well, God okay. or become the devil? <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Mind blown. <laughs> uh, all right that would be really interesting and see like there's there's so much the series could do to expand upon the choices and so many choices that could be done like it there's infinite amount of choices you can create right like yeah. you can think of anything you want and just those are your two choices and see what happens create an instance or scenario and find out what happens expand upon it so it's like the series could go in so many directions, and it's it got cut short. Yeah. <sighs> all right. Well, I mean, let's go ahead and uh, I think that's about all we probably have to say about this, unless anybody has any other last comments or anything, because we gotta move on to Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. Ah, right, I'm I'm good. All right. Cool. So Clicker is the one who recommended us Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, which. It's a little different than we've been doing stuff on the podcast where um, we do stuff like every week and we talk about it where this is one that's going to be persisting for a long time. So we're doing small bits and pieces of it, which are we're doing one volume a week, which this time was eight. So I'm assuming around eight chapters or so every week, eight or ten. And um, yeah, let's go and get Clicker to describe what it is and why I chose it, perhaps. All right. So Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. I've been waiting for this moment for a while. So, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer is kind of about a reoccurring game that happens between almost two, two, um, two, I want to say almost two demigods, where you have the princess and then you have the wizard who's trying to destroy the earth with the Biscuit Hammer, which is this giant hammer that hovers over earth. And pretty much you go through the story of the main character, um... I forget his name. It starts with a Y, though. Um, and he becomes a knight to try and fight this magician who is trying to destroy this earth. And this knight belongs to the princess. And there's 12 knights in total. And he has to work with these knights to try and overcome this magician who creates these super tough challenges for these knights. And it's just kind of like a... a, a, a kind of like a almost a fantasy story to just see what happens th and see how much these challenges or how much these people can take on all right cool yeah that's that's a little more than what uh what we know at this point but that's fine uh, hey, a little bit yeah but not too much yeah that's not bad um yeah it's it's been interesting so far like i don't know Dude so pretty much see. wakes up to a fucking lizard talking to him and stuff. <laughs> like, I didn't yep. know what the fuck to think from, like, chapter one. Like, what, what's what's happening? Oh, God. Like, I just had that moment. Then dude gets yeah. fucking superpowers and shit. Like, it's it's cool. I've, I've it's... been enjoying it a lot so far. Like, I, I definitely see it could go in a lot of directions. And it, it definitely encompasses a lot of genres from what I've seen so far, which is one thing I like. It makes and, fun yeah. of so many genres, and it's yeah. hilarious. I love it so much. They poke, he pokes fun at so many genres, and like, I can't wait till you run into some of like the classic tropes, and the series just pokes fun at it, and it's just it's spectacular. Um, so where? Uh, all right. So what? What was the last thing that happened, CJ? Uh, sorry, I, I read it all like an hour ago, so I didn't quite pick up all of it. Hold on, <laughs> I I need to pull up the actual thing. Uh. So, um, last few things that happened, he, he just went and saw his granddad in the hospital, uh, he asked the lizard dude to help him, then they met this, the first other knight that they actually meet, which is this dude with a dog, and he's kind of a little eccentric and stuff, and he, <laughs> he flips the, the girl's skirt and makes her start fighting him and stuff, and yep. then, yeah, 
then she kisses him at the end and everything for a reward from him not dying earlier yep. in his dream or something. So that's right at where it stopped. So that's an interesting note. The Wish. Yeah. So you see, you see that each knight is granted a wish. Um, and that his wish was obviously to save his granddad, which was, which was surprisingly, he, it was surprisingly self-sacrificing because like you kind of see that him and his granddad don't have the best relationship at all, but yeah. he kind of just well, the says, best relationship. They have a fucking terrible relationship. They, they have a take God awful relationship. Dude um, literally chained him and threw him in a closet for days. Yeah. Like. You that's that's fucked up, man. Yeah. Oh. Granddad granddad decided that was the way to discipline his children, I guess. I don't know. It's not the best way, but it is a way. Yeah. Um but he it, it was cool seeing how the main character was like, you know what, I'm going to just I will save my grandpa despite how much crap we've been through, he's still kind of family to me and I still want to yeah. do this. And that was nice, and I enjoyed that. Yeah. Like, I, one, one thing I love that kind of keeps persisting up until this point anyway, which I'm not sure if it does later, but the the main character actually, both in his dreams and a little bit in real life, too, keeps seeing, like, chains and everything on him, like, pretty much showing, like, the, the metaphorical, like, baggage and everything holding him down from the stuff that did happen to him with his uh, granddad earlier. And that's one thing I've been actually liking a lot is seeing that stuff and seeing the st- the re the uh, let me rephrase that seeing the times that he's being held back by that and everything preventing him from doing certain things or what have you and it's been quite interesting and there have been a few times like someone's broken them being him or I don't remember a name he calls her like in the in the translation I have he just calls her my lady all the time which I kind of yeah, laughed just... at a little bit with like uh like fucking fedoras and shit but uh <laughs> yeah it's. I don't know. It's it's been really interesting seeing that that like I've it's been a long time since I've actually seen a metaphor in such a such a um, visual way that works so well. Yeah, it does a really good job of that. So, what do you think of the princess? Uh, she's she's entertaining. I actually like her character a lot because she doesn't take shit from anyone, and she's a little bit too cocky about it, which is always entertaining and stuff. And I do love one thing that keeps happening with her, at least it seems like it's going to be a recurring thing, is it seems like every time she fights, somehow the main character <laughs> keeps seeing her underwear. Uh, yep. Like, it's it's pretty great. Yep. So, um, oh, um, Sean, I'm assuming you read it as well, right? Making sure you were caught up? I did not, because I'm a silly. Damn it. Aww, that's <laughs> well, okay. so, sorry, you, you have a lot to look forward to. You better read for next week, though. I will. <laughs> okay. It's 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 a really good series. I recommended it because it does a lot of things very very well. It's just a very good story to read in general because of just the the story writer was amazing. He has a lot of emotional things that happen. He has a lot of metaphorical things that happen like CJ mentioned. He just does a really fantastic job of just writing stories in general. Well, well, that's that why and I recommended it. It also seems like he has okay. something for everyone too. Like he has, a, like I said, it has at least some elements of a lot of genres too. Yep, it's so, it really yeah. does cover a lot of genres, and I I think that's why it's just it's so good. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. So, do you have any predictions about what's going to happen, CJ? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> okay. With the shit that's been happening so far. I'm kind of curious what Roberto is, uh, Roberto thinks of it, though. He hasn't really spoken up any yet. Oh, because I've, I've already read it before, so... Oh, okay. I yeah. About that. So also, I'm the only all. one who hasn't actually read it and read it this yep. week. Okay. Correct. You that are explains why no one else was, was I mean, coming in there. Okay. I will say um, the princess is my favorite. Yeah. I, I do like No her kidding. Lot. No kidding, Roberto. <laughs> Oh, because of the strong woman stuff. Yeah. She is such a strong-willed woman, and Roberto loves not it. just that, but well, you know, I like, do too. Yeah, like CJ was saying, she's very eccentric and interesting. She is. To... That, and I she's... love how she does have some of the, even though she is not girly, like hardly at all for most of it. She does have a little bit of girly moments, like when someone, whenever the main character does see her underwear, and he, she just straight up is like, "Did you see him?" He's like, 
teddy bears. <laughs> like every time he just describes it like teddy a dick, bears. and immediately like gets kicked in the face by her or something, he gets sent flying because she's embarrassed and shit. Like it's it's funny seeing like the slight little bit of girliness come out of her a little bit there. Like it's it's been good. Like she... she's definitely a good character. She has really good moments in the series, and she's she's really really cool. She has some of the best character development. Um, that I I I just I she's one of my favorites. It's what ends up happening is a lot of people love the princess because she's just she just has such a good personality and she's just so enjoyable. I guess. Yeah. Um. That that's actually one thing I didn't really think about while I've been reading it. Like, I, I've actually liked her character so much to the point where even if she didn't have character development, I'd probably still continue to enjoy her as a character a lot. But now that you've said she has a lot of development too, that makes me even more just like, wow, this is gonna get really fucking good. Like, I'm more, I'm curious because it going back a little bit to the chains and everything, how deep this fucking uh, manga is already getting, at least in a a subtle level with like the visual metaphors and everything. I'm curious just how fucking deep this is gonna go. Like, I'm I'm very excited because I I'm I've always been one for really deep like emotional stuff and everything. Like how I've told you guys and hell, one of my favorite animes is Clan Ad, which I mean isn't deep half the time, but goddamn the feels. <laughs> oh my gosh. It 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 does yeah. have feels. This series will have a moment where you oh may God. shade a tear, maybe two. Don't tell me when that's coming up, then. I won't. I won't. I'll just... I, I, I don't want that to just, like, d- to know about that. You won't. That makes me scared now, though. <laughs> a little bit. Perfect. I hope there's at least a little bit of build-up to it, though, and not just, like, a slap in the face, like fucking Fuka. Ugh. No, I don't think it's like that. Wait, Sean. I, I must so, ask you this, because I've been trying to find somebody who's fucking reading this to talk to him about it. Have you read Fuka? No. God damn it. <laughs> You're useless. <laughs> Why are you here? Gotcha. Uh, that's, uh, that's harsh. You're you're mean to our guest, CJ. <laughs> that's fine. I'll be back next week anyway. Yep. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Sean. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I didn't fucking mention this. Dan's actually taking a break for a couple weeks here, so we're going to have Sean for, for a couple weeks fill in a slot. And then, um, yeah, then after that, we uh, I've been talking to a few people, so I may have, <clears throat> potentially, after, or if people's schedules work and everybody's happy with it, I may have a few a few other guests and everything that may come on, so. Yeah, a little, little teaser or something to look forward to there. <laughs> I'd say so. Uh, anyway, no, I, I don't need to get all sad thinking about Fuka anymore. Let's... <laughs> Let's move on back to the back to the happy princess girl. That's like fucking <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes, she's pretty awesome. She is super strong, obviously, as you saw her. Like, as the entrance to her was crushing a golem. Yeah. With her, like, I'm pretty sure it was her bare fist that she did it with. That was the one she was wearing wearing the bunny rabbit underwear. Yep. Don't Glad you remember, remember it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Can't remember, remember what the last detail. thing you read was, CJ, but you remember the bunny rabbit underwear. <laughs> I remember each one that she's worn so far. <laughs> hey, man, I I read some edgy stuff sometimes. I I, I notice the important details. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> I can respect that. Uh, so anything else? Sometimes I hate else? myself like this. <laughs> So anything else, CJ, about Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer? Um, that fucking random girl that saw him, like, picking up a cat out of the river and stuff with his... I don't know what to call it. I'm just calling it the fucking superpower shit that he has. I forgot the name of it already. But he, he has, like, a... It, it's like the telekinesis thing where you can, like, move objects and control shit or whatever. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, like, the the girl that fucking, like saw him doing that, then thought he was a superhero, and was, like, super attached to him, was like, marry me, please, and everything, like, immediately after she first fucking starts talking to him and stuff. It's like, I hope she comes back, because that will have some pretty funny shit happen, most likely. Because it seems like him and the princess are potentially, like, gonna have something happen between them. Because, I mean, she's already kissed him and shit, I don't fucking know. Well, not really, it was in a dream, but weird physics reasons whatever weird weird physics sure dream is now well, reality like, cj no no it's it's like she she somehow invades his dreams and stuff and can actually talk to him and do stuff with him and stuff it seems like anyway and i i just don't fucking know 
I don't know if that was actually him just dreaming or if it was actually her invading his dream, kissing him and all that and whatever. I don't know at this point. It, it will They'll be explained. Explain it. I, it, it, I read the whole fucking volume in about 15 minutes, so... Oh man, you blitzkrieged yeah. it. <laughs> well, dude, whenever I read shit, I'll read like fucking 30 chapters, 40 chapters at a time in like an hour or two. That makes sense. So to stop yourself from reading ahead, you read 15 minutes before we started. Yes. Yes, I did. And I still wasn't late. That's, that's smart. I like <laughs> that. It, it, it is very clever of him to do that. Yes. Yeah. Screw you, CJ. I wasn't late. You were a minute late. It was 8.01. I was... Yeah, that, I that's sorry, it. man. I have logs of when you fucking joined. Why do you keep logs of me? Skype does. <laughs> yeah. So it's, a, it's a joining call. Yeah. That's, that's weird. Skype knows too much. Skype knows that you were late. He must <laughs> just be eliminated. Skype doesn't know I was late. Skype doesn't yes, have does. a calendar event that says... Skype knows you were at 8.01 and we know you were supposed to be here at 8. <laughs> yep. You guys know I'm late. Skype doesn't. Yes. Good. Glad we established that. Yeah. So, <laughs> moving on. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we can move on from there. I, I don't really have anything else for it. I'm, I'm excited to read more. It's been good. Uh, and hopefully it'll continue to be good. And hopefully Sean will be able to join better. in next week as well. I most certainly should. It sounds amazing. It just gets better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping so. Right. I, I like how he keeps looking up ominously, though. This is one last thing. I like how he just keeps looking up ominously, like, huh, ah, giant hair with sky, yep, cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, look, my doom. Ah, yeah. Okay. I, I do like how, um, another thing that kind of goes with that, the, the thing that's fucking amazing about the princess, why she wants to actually save the world and keep the hammer from, like, fucking destroying the world, is because she wants to destroy it herself. Yep. And if that does it, she can't. And I was like, I like her. She's cool. That's, that's I like her that's a good. lot. <laughs> yep, that's very awesome. When she said that, I was like, really? She wants the world for herself so she can remember the world the way she liked it. It's an interesting theory. Yeah. So, I I like that. Uh, Alright, cool. Um, I think that about covers us. Let's go ahead and move on to the next section. Uh, so we've got other things we've been watching or reading throughout the week. Um, I'm going to start off because I finished something. That was actually really good, although I forgot the name. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Crunchyroll, where are you at? If I spell it right. What uh, did I? Uh. Oh god, where'd it go? The Testament of New Sister New Devil is what it's called. Talked oh, about yeah. this one last week. We did. Okay. Fucking awesome. Loved it. Oh, that's right. That's the one that was almost like a direct copy of High School DxD. It seemed like it at first, but about three or four episodes in, it changed, and it was actually got a lot better. Hmm. So on the table of high school DXD, how does it compare? Um. Or are they two different? They're they're similar enough. They have similar enough premises where you can compare them because they're both demon stuff with like harem elements and a bunch of other shit happening. At first, when I first started watching, let's say, well, just for comparison's sake, let's say one through ten, high school DXD being a five, which it's not. It's like a fucking nine. But just so I can show how high or low that it was compared to it, let's say it's a 5. And it's the middle of the scale, there we go. Um, it started off, like, way below, like, around 2 or so. Like, compared to High School DxD, it was like, eh, it seems like a rip-off. I don't know how this is gonna be. But as it progressed, it actually got to the point where it's, like, right at a 4. So it's like, if High School DxD is a 5, it's, like, right under it. It's actually really good. Okay. I'll probably have to check it out then. Definitely. Fucking blue hair chick's awesome. Or maybe it might get recommended. Uh, that's like fucking two or three months down the line. I'll forget by then. No, you won't. Because uh, it's on your My Anime list, isn't it? I don't know yet. Well, it should be. Because <laughs> if Funny it gets on there... You. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't have fucking... You, you can't I've talk, got, Clecker. I've got so much updating to do. I'm so behind on When's stuff. the last time you updated, Clecker? Like January, <laughs> a very long time ago. Yeah, we're in fucking April. What the fuck? I I, I probably haven't updated since I finished the box, uh, the Monogatari series. That's a that's a good one to to spur on the the needing to update. That's one that you gotta add. <laughs> but Sean, have you seen the Monogatari series? Mm-mm. I hate you. You would ask me. <laughs> you you would ask me that last Jesus. week and then said that I needed to watch it. But if I remember right, isn't it like a bunch of them? 
I have no idea yes. where I should start. Right, I can I can give you a full detailed list. I have Blu-rays. Like we can make this happen. Okay, Sean. If you ever are in Orlando and you want to watch a hilarious series with a goddamn toothbrush scene. I was actually going to pull up something to do with that. Yeah, you're the one who keeps bringing it up more than anyone else, Clucker. CJ, because there's reasons why, all right? You, like, ironed that onto my skin, and I can't, like, forget that (laughs) at all now. I had nothing to do with that. Like... Really? You're the one that created the compilation video that was... (laughs) <laughs> I'm actually pulling that up to give it to Sean afterwards here. <laughs> uh, compilation video. Yeah, we used Udover with uh, the the theme from Cowboy Bebop over the toothbrush scene, and it actually syncs up really well. It's great. Nice. <laughs> that scene. Anyways. <sighs> yeah, I'll, do, just, I'll, I'll show Sean that afterwards here. It's just one of the most memorable scenes, CJ. Everyone, like, if you say toothbrush you. scene, nine out of ten times... You will hear the Monogatari series come up. Pretty much, yeah. I mean, that's that's the only fucking like big toothbrush right? scene thing. It is the toothbrush scene. So yeah, of course exactly. you're gonna fucking hear it if you say it. Exactly. Like, no, no, your, make your, your, your logic solid. is invalid. What you're no, saying my is my point okay, is completely no, no, valid. No. What you're saying is pretty much you're you're saying to the point where if you say, oh, if somebody says Cowboy Beam Up, they're gonna think of the anime. No fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the name of the scene. It has its own name now. If you say the toothbrush scene, that is the only thing it's referring to. Okay, when you think of Baka, well, I guess never mind. That's a bad example. <laughs> if I if I think toothbrush, I don't immediately think of that. You may now, apparently. No, but I don't. Just toothbrush, I don't immediately think of that. I don't. Unless you think of other things that we don't need to Shut discuss. Shut it, Roberto! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what damn now? Roberto. Do tell, Roberto. Uh, oh, do tell. No, I don't know. I should. Think. <laughs> I don't want to know. No, he knows. <laughs> then why did you ask, Roberto? Because it seemed like you knew more than you lead on. I don't. We all know I'm, he's not as I'm, innocent as he seems. No. I'm the innocent one. No, no, you're nowhere near as innocent as you. Mm. We we used to think you were. <laughs> I'm uh, apparently not. Dude, as soon as you told me you read like Nazokiana like four or five times, I was like, yeah, he's. He's seen some shit. <laughs> he didn't even tell us. It's because I must retain my innocence. No. No, it's gone now. That's shattered. No, it's not. Dude. No, it's not. You can still be innocent. There are still moments when people mention something that get, can be taken the completely wrong way, yet I don't think of it that way. Okay. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, what else have you been watching or reading this week, Clucker? <laughs> Let's see. Um, get back on track here. So, I attempted to get through Law Cries and over the weekend. That attempt did not work. I was very Told saddened you. by that attempt. They finally have 25 out. I'm actually going to start they, watching it again. They have 25 out. I'm I so did excited. watch. I did watch a little bit of my favorite Shonen series. Gotta specify oh, One Shonen. One Piece. Because I haven't. I haven't watched it in a long time. So I was watching it. It was, it's, it's as good as it always is. Um, it's kind of weird how it's only like 15 minutes of actual episode though. Um, cause of all the intro, the intro is like five minutes or something like that. It's, it's a really long intro. Um, but that, that I did that. I read, did I read anything? I actually don't think I read that much this week. I just read the usual stuff, fairy tale and whole bunch of other things um which fairy tale was interesting uh because crap happens and i don't know what the heck well i do know what's going through gary's head but anyways that's another discussion for for birdo i i just thought of something though that i'm gonna i think we should do as part of the show from now on actually sean have you seen high school dxd no <laughs> we're gonna have a high school DXD god section. damn dude what, you haven't seen like any out? of the things. Okay, Sean is like me. He hasn't seen that much. Yeah, I really haven't. Um, it's funny actually. I have a ridiculously large list of animes to watch uh, that I've gotten yeah. from friends, and then I just never do. Not for the fact that I don't want to watch them, because I'm sure my friends' tastes are okay. Um, 
Yeah, I don't want to say I don't want to say extraordinary or spectacular, but yeah, I don't know. Well, the the reason I ask is because I was thinking like one thing we could do since um high school DXD is about to start again is we can actually like watch an, the the new episode every week since all of us have seen it except Sean here and discuss it every week. So, like that's one thing I think we should do because we we should do something like that. And I think high school DXD is the one that that is universal is, between all of us. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I was thinking, but I, I don't want to spoil anything for Sean. Although it may make him watch it just hearing like how the first episode of it is. So, Sean, <laughs> guess what the first words come out of the char- like the main character's mouth? I have no idea. Man, I really want to grab some boobs. Are the first I like it already. First things that the main character says. Yep, and I, I like it already. Dude, dude has like a dragon living in his hand. That's at one point he gets dragon yep. armor, fuck shit up, and he does. I, he does I grab seeing, boobs. I remember seeing. I guess it was the ending of a season because stuff was just happening, and I was like, I have no idea what's going on, but there's the action, so I'm attentive. Oh, there, there's a lot of a uh, lot of action too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot that of, kind of action. action. Like, there, there's a lot of fighting, and half the time the girls will get hit with, like, something, it'll explode, and the clothes are gone now. Mm. She's flying through the air in slow motion with no clothes. Nice, yeah. Nice. Main character's perverted as fuck. He's fucking hilarious. He wants to be a harem king. <laughs> oh, like, God. that's his goal in life. Demon harem I mean, I, I, huh? I can't blame him on that. Demon that's that's an king. admirable goal. Oh, yeah, the demon harem king. Yeah, that's right. There's a difference. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be happy either way. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you you need to watch it, Sean. Yeah, sure. If only you're gonna be on like another week, I would immediately change one of mine to being that just to make you watch it. But you're you're not gonna be here. No bonus for special appearances. Nobody's expecting. But next time you're on here, you better have seen it. No, first you better have seen Bakumono Guitar. Then Fair you watch enough. High School DxD. <laughs> okay. Or he might have, have seen something Clannad, special. Have you seen Sean? No. You haven't seen nope. Clannad. Nope. Haven't. Not I me. Nope. okay. Don't okay. Me. Nope. I I am okay with him not watching that if he knows how how much the feels come from that. I am oh, okay with him not watching that. I didn't see, know. Even, even then, I could watch. That's the thing. Clannad. Anybody who knows usually doesn't want to watch. <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> see, yeah. Like I I could watch Clannad. I just wouldn't watch After Story. Just yeah. <laughs> oh, Sean. I've I've told everybody else this, but I I have this game now that I'm gonna be playing. There you go. Oh my! Why? Why? Oh, Supposedly. My God. There are a lot more good endings than there are in the bad endings of the School Days game. Yeah, this, well, yeah, and hopefully the game will be not like the anime at all, at all, at all. Uh, the the anime is based on the game, so that is one of well, the endings from true. the game. So but you can like, be like that. Uh, I don't know. I didn't. Uh, there, there, there was just the one ending that I liked with the nice boat, and that was about it. <laughs> yeah, but that's still cool though. Um. I've been playing uh, Hoshizora no Memoria, which has been pretty pretty all right, actually. Oh my god, me and you should play a dating sim at one point together. That'd, That'd be, be amazing. Harafu yep. boyfriend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, we, 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 gotta let, we gotta Us let three should all watch while we make Clicker play one. Exactly. Yes. No! Yes. No! Yes. It sounds like the best plan. I will... That's quality entertainment. This is, this is going on the podcast now. It has to happen now. Absolutely. It does. Yep. A let's play of... A really <laughs> okay, there, there's two of them I can think of that'll be great. Either Hotful Boyfriend or Kato Shoujo. Oh, Kato is so good. Well, you could, you could date cripples. <laughs> I mean, no offense to cripples. Just, that's that's what it will be. Uh, Shouldn't have told them uh, that. God. Oh, oh, I already I know I about both the series. So. I remember CJ talking about dating the cripples. Okay, I, also... I can hear people now. Cool. Right, I, cool. I, I remember CJ talking about the crippled game. <laughs> Someone like well, you could say crippled is too handicapped or something. People are gonna get mad at us. Yeah, so okay, ap- apologies to anyone hearing this. We mean no disrespect. Handicapped. I'm sorry. Anyways, I've already heard some things about the game. It's it's and actually one of the best stories I've read in a while. No, yeah, it's read or seen. Amazing. It's I don't know. There's some things in there that I just don't want to know about. You don't fucking like. The the worst thing that you actually see physically happen is your dude goes through like a fucking heart attack. Like yeah. 
that's, that's about the only thing that's traumatic from it. Like the rest of it's mostly just story and everything of people. You don't you, see people getting hurt or anything like that. No, it's just you you find out about their stories. You do it. see some banging yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that, there's definitely <laughs> plenty of that. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely some. See, some this, is, this is why I'd be hesitant to do this. But see, I don't know. But they're they're no. few and far between. Most of it's just True. story. Yep. But see, Plecker, that's that's not even that bad. In the one that I'm doing right now, there are I think there are a couple more paths. But one of them is an extremely lolly character who still has the body of like an elementary schooler, and another path is your is your little sister. That's right. It's his Yosuko Nosora time. <laughs> oh God, no. That one. I Talk know about that one. That's that's why I I really don't want to go down that route, but I'm curious, and that curiosity. I mean, is if you're going down the me. other routes, you fucking have to because you have to finish out. I know, out the I know, no, you don't. It is so no, bad. You, don't. you do not have to do this. <laughs> well, if you're like most people, when they do something like that, they're fucking completionists and stuff, and it's yep. like fuck it, I yeah. have to go through them all. Like exactly. Like uh, one thing that was me. I'm actually glad I did because um, I actually didn't want to go down uh, Lily's route and kind of showed you. I didn't really? like Lily at all. Ah, okay. But about that halfway was... through, I was like, "Oh, I see how she is now. I like her." <laughs> nice. I like yeah, that's, her. A that's lot. how I was with Hanako. I just it was something about Hanako's story, I guess, that I just didn't like. Hanako but... was the one who fucking like crushed me the most emotionally. I guess I can understand that. Yeah, because I guess that happened for me. The one who who kind of pissed me off though was Rin. Like, I just I didn't like her story at all. It was okay. It eh. uh, it was it was kind of okay. Yeah, was, I don't know. There were some I, very funny moments with her, too. That one was yeah, there were. fucking hilarious. Um, I don't know. I, like, my favorite character was Shizune, but yes. my favorite route yes. was Emmy. Shizune. Oh, wait. I was Why just does that thinking. sound so familiar? I was just thinking of Emmy as being Rin. Actually, <laughs> Rin. God damn it. So let me, let me Rin rephrase was that. Super arty. Rin was. It was it was a weird route. It was it was good. It was inter- It was interesting. It had a lot of, like, differences and everything that I'm not used to and stuff. But mm-hmm. Emmy. Like, I don't know. I'm very neutral about her. I some things I loved that. about her, some things I hated about her. Mm. It's like, bitch, just fucking listen. Yeah, Everything oh will my be god, okay. that, that did piss me off sometimes. Ah. And I was just like, are you serious right now? <laughs> but she's an A was best, uh, though. She's an A's best. Yeah. This, see, this is, this is why we, we should get Klecker to, to play this. It'd be so yes. good. No. And we won't tell him any of the right or wrong choices to make either. Exactly. Oh I, I want him to get the get the bad end. Yeah. Guys, guys, I played Catherine. I know what's good and I know what's bad. That's not you, what you we don't mean. know. Also, yeah, I was about to say, so you think. screw you for finding out the secret to beating me in multiplayer, which is just run across the bottom and have the entire multiplayer map collapse. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, back to back to this. I don't think Roberto's gotten to say what he's been watching or reading this week. So I'm gonna be Dan this week and say I I didn't really have anything. All right, moving on. Go ahead, Sean. <laughs> uh, mine actually isn't that great either. I uh, haven't really read anything new. And the only thing that I, I've been watching uh, is just the Stardust Crusaders part of JoJo's. Because hey. of yeah! The, I don't I know had, when I'm going to start JoJo's back up. Yeah, like, I had read that forever ago. Um, and actually, as it turns out, I didn't, like, go to the start of Stardust Crusaders. I jumped in more than halfway through. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, because well, there's... The original Stardust Crusaders, and then there is um, Stardust Crusaders Battle in Egypt. Yeah. Where the actual battle and, and everything like that starts taking place. And I didn't know that, because I, if I remember right, it would literally just said Stardust Crusaders. And so I, I jumped in there, and I'm like, I don't understand anything that's going on, but cool, stuff's happening. And eventually, I figured out a good portion of what was going on. And I was just like, okay, Dio's around, because you, you thought it was someone else, but it was I, Dio. Um, yep. And I I figured out some stuff, but then I got so lost, I was just like, all right, I don't, I'm not entirely sure what to do anymore. And so I dropped the manga, and then when I started watching, yeah, when I started watching the anime this past week, I was like, oh, wait a second, what? There's this whole part, like, what? (laughs) And so, yeah, that was a silly shock, but then I was like, okay, now now I get things. Things make sense now. And you've been watching the new one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What, came out 2013, I think? 14? No, wait, yeah, it came out. 14, yeah. Stardust Crusaders, yeah, JoJo series is a really good series. We actually just finished that series. Um, yeah, I remember seeing it on the um, uh, on the channel. Um, not too and long yeah, a, a, yeah, for a series as a whole, I really like it just because I don't know. To me, it's like I love just all the manliness of it. The action to me, it, it it's like a toned down version of Gurren Lagann, and that's I can how I see that. that. Wait, you, oh, you haven't watched it? 
I I never watched the main series. I just yeah, like I like I said in last week's uh, podcast, I just watched the two movies and oh, just, oh, so I I can see see why it's my friend Ethan's favorite anime just of all time. I I, I really can understand it. It it has a lot of hype in it. Gurren mm-hmm. Lagann has a ton of hype. Roberto so once showed me the best picture that describes Gurren Lagann in the perfect way. And it's just like these kids sitting on a couch and they're all like screaming, like saying, yeah, yeah. And then there comes a time when they're all very depressed. And then like it slowly goes up again and then they start yelling again. And it's just, it's, it's pretty epic. I have the perfect yeah. AMV for that. Do you? I do. Ah. Huh. All right. So cool. I think that, um, that pretty much wraps up the stuff that we've been watching or reading there. I don't think anybody else has anything else. Mm-hmm. No, cool. Um, so yeah, how how are we gonna do our our random topic today? I can I, I can just pick one out of the stuff. I got this. Or actually, how about this? Mm, that's a good idea. Let's let our uh, let our guest here pick one. Yeah, hi. Some random anime discussion topic. Put you on the spot. I should have told you this earlier. No, actually, no, no, no it's, it's perfectly fine because I have one. Oh shit! Oh. oh. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's because it's because I've I've been thinking about like it, it has to do with Hoshizora no Memoria, but um. Typically, okay. we usually do just so you know more generic ones like, "Hey, why why do this thing happen in most anime or whatever?" No, yeah, it's well, it's kind of about that. It's about like I guess anime tropes and stuff. Like I don't know if you guys have talked about this before, but um, do you guys know the different types of like dead char- characters? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like. I guess it's mostly just like an opinionated discussion of like what kind of dead egg characters do you like, which do you not like, um, which ones intrigue you? Because I know like for some people like Yandere really intrigues people. It intrigues me, guess... but it scares me. Exactly. <laughs> um, and then I guess like yeah, give me one second. I want to look up a list of dead eggs. Yandere. Uh, <laughs> no, what's wrong with you? No, no, no. But it's uh, what's it called? Can you guys guess what my favorite dairy is? Soon dairy. <laughs> How do you know that? Oh, it is. Yeah, he yep. loves his soon uh, Yeah, That's no what I idea. I can't but, I can't stand. That and that's why I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> you can't you gotta try stand figure out which is mine. See, I I you definitely need to watch Bakemonogatari then because the main girl in that well, it's kind of main girl but semi main girl. She's main. Girl. She is. Yeah, she she is beyond the shadow of a doubt a soon today. Like, <laughs> and most people like her even if they don't. I'm curious what your opinion will be of her. But you need okay. to at least finish like the first season to get a good opinion of her. Right, right, makes sense. Just so you know, every time I talk to you from now on, I'm gonna be mentioning this anime <laughs> until you watch. Gotcha. It. Okay. I did this with one of my coworkers. He's finally gone through. He's halfway through second season now in the course of about a week. <laughs> and I've nice. talked to him about it for almost two years. <laughs> uh anyway, cool. Um. Yeah, I just pulled up a quick list here, which if mine's okay. missing some, you can you can supplement them or whatever, Sean. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and start off with the soon todays here and what everybody's opinions are of them. I love them if they're done right, because there, there's like two or three different types that I usually see. And um, yeah, I like the ones that are just like, I don't know. I like most of them, really. There's not really them I don't like if they're done well. So uh, let's let's get your opinion, Clicker. On the soon todays? Yeah. I like Sundares. Um, sometimes they annoy me at some times, but I really enjoy them. Um, they're not my favorite, but I like my Sundares because um, they're... How do I describe them? Oh, wait, Shinobu's a Sundare as well. I know. So yeah, best two girls of Bakamono Guitar Sundares, John. <laughs> so it's... Okay. What... what, what makes me like Sundare so much is the sweet side you see of them every oh, now yes. and then. Like, when it you see that side, it. when you see that side, you're just like, ah, yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine now. Like, oh my god, at the end of Suki Monogatari, oh my god. Yes. Yep. Yep. Suki Monogatari was pretty awesome. A lot of the ones are awesome. So, yes, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of another soon today that I know of. Um, Roberto. <clears throat> yeah. You've seen Golden Time, right? Yep. Oh, is the main character? Is the main character soon today? She's crazy. Or... 
She's fucking Yandere almost. Oh, She's borderline Yandere, yeah. She's very stalkerish and, and very attached. Yeah, but she was extremely hot. Oh, I guess, yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, you're right. Okay, okay, let me let me list off the exact definition from the list I have here, and it describes Kagakoko pretty much perfectly, which is may appear all loving and kind at first, but be, but can get very aggressive, abusive, and violent when it comes to his or her affections. That's, that's, that's Kagakoko, right. like, perfectly. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hated who, that bitch. Who is, who is a Sundere that I know of besides... Um, besides Sundra Oh, dude, come on. What's, what's her name? They're they, so yeah, common. that's it. Okay. Um, well, no, nah, I guess yeah. she can be. Yeah, she's a different one. Oh, Taiga is another one that's a pretty popular yeah, one. Yeah, she is. Yeah, that's another popular one. She, she's kind of the more bitchy one, though. Yeah, I don't like those... That's what I don't really like about Sundin is they can be really bitchy at times. But then you get the soft side, Roberto. Well, no, no, you, you get the soft side without them having to be super bitchy, too. I mean, Sinjogahara is never really bitchy. She's just very yeah. cold and... Uh, I'm not saying all of them are like that. Yeah. But generally, that's how a lot of... They, they're portrayed as in a lot of shows. Yeah. Like, just, they, I hate the ones that are portrayed as just being super bitchy and stuff like that all the time, which... Pretty much the closest I love, or the closest character I love to that is Shinobu, because she doesn't go over the line, she's not super bitchy all the time, she kind of just like, yeah. eh, fuck off, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go eat some donuts. Yeah. So what's your, let's let's get your, your opinion here, Sean, like, why why do you not like them so much? Uh, okay, um, I guess it's kind of two-part, uh, just because, first part, I guess, like, in a way, I, I kind of agree, well-ish, with how you feel. Like Cinderace, like if they're done right, then it's not the most annoying thing. <laughs> but then if they're done wrong, it's just so horrible. But the the main thing that kills me is just the the commonly cliche line, and this is why I thought of it, and this is why I brought this up. Oh god, I know what comes. It happened. Here. Yeah, it because this literally came up in the in the dating simum play. It's not like I wanted to stargaze with you or anything. And I'm just yeah. that line. Yeah, I, that, I hate that's that. It's such a cop out trying to make them like that, and it's just like it really no. is. And so, like, that's the kind of thing that'll kill me. But there's actually another character in there that's slightly soon because she's like she's a, a little cold, a very bossy because she's president of the student council. But I can kind of see where Clucker's coming from with the whole when they show you that, um, you know, their, their underlying caring side. It's kind of like, oh, okay, but I don't know. Sometimes it's just like it's too much. It's too much soon and not enough dere, and it's just irritating. To pretty me. much, pretty much yeah. where I'm at. Yeah. All right, so yeah. let's. Uh, I guess we'll move on to to fucking Dan and Aaron's favorite Yandere is fucking Yandere. <laughs> just, it's, it's literally just the name for crazy bitches. Yes. Yeah, really. <laughs> but that. but the thing is, you get to see that sweet, soft, gentle side in the beginning. The sweet, CJ. soft, gentle side as they're stabbing somebody yeah, else. Really. And, and they're like, he was trying to talk faces. to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Jesus, woman. Yeah. But at least you know they'll defend you till the bitter end. Or they'll if fucking cause the your bitter end. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah. Or yeah. If they're the obsessive type of Yandere, if you mess up, they kill oh. you. Oh, if you actually um. You. Have you seen Mariah Nikki, Sean? No, but I know a decent uh, amount about it. So you well, haven't you haven't seen the, the she she is known no. pretty much as the quintessential Yandere. Oh, you know? Yeah. 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 No, I you know. I know about you know. <laughs> Everyone knows about you know. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Oh, that bitch. She's My so god. Good. She's so good. She has an incredible character and everything and it's very yeah, good. That's, but that's amazing. That's, that's the kind <sighs> of well, she's a little uh, she's a little too crazy, but that you is think? The kind of... No, they they're all a too little. Crazy. That's the whole like that's all the right. point of Beyond the is they're too crazy. Sia from Shuffle was not too crazy. She was just the perfect amount of crazy. <laughs> Yes, she had like, an alternate ego that was very obsessive and wanted to just hurt you and maybe rape you, but that was okay. But she <laughs> wasn't. She wasn't quite Yandere though. She didn't try to fucking yeah, hurt people. Yeah. Um. And and Klecker, I really, I really want you to think about what you said there. I the shut, right sh amount. Sh of think he ever does. I, just, sh I don't <laughs> think <on>. I say. <laughs> I don't think I say. That's why. That's why I have no Klecker. Oh my god, I love no Klecker. Um. But yeah, Yandere's are yeah, like we said earlier, at least to me, 
they're a little mystifying, but mostly terrifying because it's just like when you when you think about it, it's just like to some I don't know who I really don't, but for I believe it's the possessive type of yandere who like if you mess if you like talk to any other chicks or anything, they'll go and like kill them just so they can't talk to you. Like See, yeah, some that's... people. That's the reason why I hate them the most, because I've had two ex-girlfriends that were like that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's... Fuck that. See, they that's, didn't... Tr- yeah, that's well, mm, one of them was kind of violent a little bit. Not to me. Gotcha. But she she was violent to someone, someone yeah, else. Yeah, it's but, like, but yeah. apparently some people can see that as, like, super, super strong loving affection. And it's like... I, I don't want that no, much love. Yeah, I don't, no, <laughs> no, please. No, no. Oh. I feel there. There's a certain limit to uh, yandere that I can take. Like, there. So you wouldn't like a real yandere. I wouldn't like the, a true yandere in the most sense. If I was actually dating someone in real life, I'd probably prefer a sundare or a kudare. Ku, um, ku I can yeah. understand. Ku, kudare is nice, um, but I'll get more into that because that's. Probably Think about better. it. That's Roberta's yeah. favorite. Sushi Ogahara is probably more of a coup today. I mean, they can uh, certainly multi class. She's. I'd say she's multi class. She. I wouldn't say yeah. she's aloof. Multi class. <laughs> she's multi class. Fucking multi classed into a few of them. <laughs> Took her a while. Had to had to get some levels. <laughs> um. Uh. But I can see. I can see her being more of a coup today sometimes than a soon today. Yeah. But, uh, Yandere is I enjoy is characters a lot of the times just because they're just oh they are very interesting. Usually they're the most entertaining to watch. They they are very interesting, especially if they're done well. Like Gisai you know, holy shit, that fucking crazy bitch. So crazy! Ah. I love it. <laughs> Anyways, you got some um, weird fetishes, Clicker. I don't. <laughs> I thought you said last episode. What do you mean? Ooh. I did not say anything last episode. That, Go listen oh, to the intro. God, was the one before I that, know what I Roberto. said. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, um, On to Kudere's. Sure. Roberto, take it away. Yep, best type. That's all. Moving on. <laughs> they're, they're good. I say dro- drop the mic. <laughs> best type, done. Walks away. I don't know. I think Kudere is kind of like... um. I think actually a few of them are kind of subtypes of Sundares, from what I what I remember. I think, it it can can be perceived yeah. that way, yeah. Yeah, because like I I, I like both uh, Kudares and uh, Dandodes as well, which can kind of both technically be part of that, and it's really just another classification for them. Yeah. But Kudares are very good. Um, uh, who's a really good example of that that I like? Tomoyo. Holo. Oh, Holo, yes. Holo, Tomoyo. Ah. Um. Oh there's yeah, a... Tomio, best girl from Clan Ed. <laughs> there's there's a ton of them. I could I could I could sit here and list them for days for Roberto. Let's let's see what's uh, what's your opinion, Sean? Since we kind of know each other really well. Wait, what? Sorry. Since us out. three know each other really well, what's your what's your opinion on them here? Well, for Kudos? Yeah. To be honest, I don't have uh that like I don't know they honestly of of the most types of Dede, it's one that I kind of like. A lot, as long as it's not too... Because the way that I see it, it's like you, you can have, like, Sundere, and then... I'm not sure what will be on the other side of the spectrum, but, like, Kudere is kind of, like, in the middle. So if it leans yeah. a bit more to the Sun side, that's when I'm kind of like, eh. But aside from that, I, like, I, I like it. Um, like, Kudere is a really... At, at the very least, usually funny, like, if you're watching something. Um, like, I don't know. I Yeah, I think I'd classify... What was her name? Um, right, Yukihira from uh, now called to be coup today because she's just she says like good morning maggot or like good morning like pig of like or scum of the earth or something like just crap like that but then she's also just like you know like when he was trying to get her to laugh she just nothing well i mean until she did but that was her dead a side but coup today's as a whole are yeah pretty cool but that's not my favorite well, Ooh, what is your cool. favorite though Do you um me? It's <laughs> it's one that's apparently has has been recently made up called He Made Dede, which is oh fucking uh, okay. <laughs> I hate those I guess. so much. See, yeah, and see that's the thing, it's it's a little weird that I do like them because it's like they can be kind of soon, kind of coo, but mostly it's more regal, more princess like, more like I'm fucking high stuck society. up bitches. <laughs> 
Usually, that's all they are. But, but that's why I find it funny if, like, they're in an anime or something, and, like, the main character is just, like, treats them like anybody else, and they're, they're just like, wait, what? I, I don't know what to do with oh, this. Oh, you would actually, uh, something we're going to be watching later on, uh, you'd actually really enjoy Outbreak Company, then. I see. Because there, there's one of those there. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> gotcha. Nice. I hated her, but, like, <laughs> at first, actually. It kind of, mm, character development, but, yeah. Right, right. Okay, I, yeah, and I, I completely understand that, because, yeah, I can see how that would... I mean, they're, they're just they're just stuck up and rude, and they think everybody should wait on them all the time. It's like, no, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, what's your, um, <laughs> what do you guys think of... He Go and start off with Clecker. Huh? Of the Hime did is? Yeah. Of which one? Hime? Oh, Hime. I tend to not like them um, a lot because it's... They're very... They're very pompous, and it that's kind of a turnoff to me sometimes. Yep. It, it all depends on how well it's done. Like, it can be done where they're very pompous at the start, but then they have to change the way they act. And then that can be interesting. But if we're talking, like... If I were to date a girl, I would not date a girl like that. I'd either date a Sundare or a Kudare. And then I've, I'd love I've... watching a Yandere from the distance. <laughs> oh my god. Stalker. Fucking no. sadistic bastard. <laughs> not a sadistic bastard. <laughs> you want to watch a Yandere ruin somebody's life. <laughs> How is that not sadistic? Wishing, I never yeah. said they have to ruin their life. What the fuck well, else are they going to do? <laughs> You're not going to ruin their life. Sir, sir, you are living in a fantasy world. <laughs> this is why I'm innocent. <laughs> Because I don't know the repercussions of what I like and what I don't like. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. Hime Dere's I don't like that much because they're very pompous and I don't like them. Yeah. Same thing with Dan Dere's. Uh, they're too shy for me. They're, I, I, oh, shyness doesn't bother me. I can break I, through yeah, that shit. I, I don't know. I want to see some emotion come from them sometimes. And Kudere's don't show that much emotion, but yet they still intrigue me because I guess it's oh. it's more because they're I don't know they just they they carry themselves to a higher standard than Dandere's. Dandere's are very always seem very shy and very weak at times, and I don't. Oh, I I have a great example both Clecker and Roberto will like of um. Of a Dan today that's actually really good. And she's actually a strong willed person too. She's just still shy. But uh she's decently strong willed too. It's um god damn it, I forgot her name. She's a piano player. She's a piano playing girl from White Album Two, and she's a fucking phenomenal character. Like I need to make you guys watch this at one point. I'll be interested to see what my opinion of her is. Cause it might I might end up really liking her. But Yeah, probably. I, I... I did not like her at first, but, like, a few episodes into, like, actually starting to try to get her open up and everything, I was like, holy shit, she's fucking awesome. The I want one, her to win. The one Dandere that I know of that I've actually enjoyed is Nagisa. Nagisa was extremely shy and antisocial and quiet, but I loved, I loved when she got to the point where she got more confidence, and I loved the relationship between her and the main character. She's much more dede dede than anything, in my opinion. Yeah, <laughs> she's not a uh, dan dede, in my opinion. Oh, because yeah, dan dede are very silent and emotionless, and they they can even come off as cold half the time. Hmm. I did not know there was more than just dan dede. It's a lot. Uh, yeah, I just have a list of like eight of them here. Yeah, which aren't even all of them, I'm sure. No, there's there's probably let's let's well, Sean, I think you have another list. I'll throw out some other fun ones there we can talk about a little bit. No, I actually think I have this. Well, it may not be the exact same, but it's still only eight. Is the one that's a multicolored list off of nah. Google Images? Nah. I have I have the multicolored list off of uh, Google Images. Undere seems weird. It's like a yes man, but just someone who's trying to get close to you by just agreeing to like everything you say, and that just that definitely what? sounds almost like a subset of Yandere. <laughs> kind of. Kind of, yeah. I just love you that just, much. Just take out the violent crazy. part, which yeah. actually wouldn't be that bad. It's it's, it's not just... as good as you think. I dated a girl Ooh. like that. Ooh. It was 
Yeah, I, I kind of after... figured it would also kind of get annoying after a while. Well, it didn't get annoying. It more felt like because she didn't have any... She didn't ever tell me what the fuck she wanted. It felt like uh, I was taking advantage of her and stuff. Like, I didn't do right. anything bad with her or anything, but, like, it's just, it like... It feels that way. It it just made me feel dirty for some reason. <laughs> just how she would just wait on me hand and foot practically. Like, it's it's gotcha. most guys' dream, but it's not that great, actually. No, yeah, in, in reality, it's not, no. Like, it's weird. It's like just just tell me what you want. <laughs> Stop so, saying you, yes to you everything. Don't, you don't have to argue with me. Just tell me no. I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's all you have Instead to do. Of agreeing to everything. It was it was so weird. Yeah, I, uh. I had a friend who did that, and I just it was like no, just speak your mind once in a while. Yeah, even if you just just every now and then, it would have been fine. Mm-hmm. I don't know. So th- those are the main types because any deriving from that are. Usually just subsets. Yeah, that's good though. I think, I, I feel we learned more about you, Sean, and your your <laughs> feels towards yeah. different types of women. Oh yes, of course. We, we <laughs> us three and Dan as well. We pretty much know like what everybody likes and stuff for the most part because we usually talk. We we watch harems and stuff, and we're just like this bitch. And everyone's <laughs> like, hey, I like that type. And then occasionally there's stuff like Sai from Amagami oh, SS. We're all just yeah. like that bitch. <laughs> I think that was Makes a good sense. one to start on because we kind of all picked our favorites and just made we all understood <laughs> yeah, each other pretty much. Right, right. Yeah, there Makes was sense. we all picked one and it was that was a nice thing. But yeah. man, I just ah, I think I have a problem, Roberto. <laughs> just one. <laughs> no shit. Uh, yeah, I was about to say I, th- I think we've known that for some time, but you know we still love it. Sean exactly. hasn't even been here and he knows you have a problem. <laughs> Sean's <laughs> known me since Full Sail. He knows exactly yeah, yeah. what I do. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. Um. So I think we'll we'll go ahead and wrap up that discussion here. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of we're kind of going overboard here. Yeah, yeah we're we're yeah. off a little bit. So that that was our random topic that Sean somehow actually had together for us. He was actually quite Make helpful. It to me playing way too much of dating sims. <laughs> yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. So. Uh, sorry, I had to read the thing here. I forgot what I was supposed to be doing next. Uh. Let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be talking about next week. Um, next week we're going to be talking about the second volume of Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, which I don't have it pulled up, so I don't know the exact uh, chapters, but it's around 8 or 10. It's, Just... it's probably going to go to 18, I believe. There's there's a good portion of stuff that happens in the next chapters. Alright, well regardless, it's it's we're going to be doing one chapter. Um, then we're also going to be talking about the anime Ore Twin Tales ni, uh, Nari, yeah, Nari nice. Masu. We're gonna be talking about that, which I think that's just twelve episodes, right? Yeah. Or thirteen. Which actually reminds me, I need to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I still, oh, I still God. haven't watched the last no. few episodes. I don't know how this is gonna work out. That regardless, we're gonna be talking about that next week. It's already been decided. Um, and yeah, um, let's go ahead and go around and tell everyone where they can find everybody in the podcast at and everything. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead. Um. You can pretty much find me anywhere uh, on my anime list and Steam and pretty much everything is Boom Coffee. Um, you can find the podcast at pseudorandompodcast.wordpress.com. Is that right? Yep. yep. Cool. Um, we have a Twitter, which I believe is pseudo underscore pod. Um, you can search for us on uh, YouTube now. Just search pseudo random entertainment and we'll pop up. And some other things that I forgot about probably but <laughs> no. yeah you can, iTunes you, yeah we have an iTunes too you can just search for us there too and you should be able to find us just search Pseudo Random Podcast and uh that should be about it there's probably more oh the, we have a we have a my anime list for the the podcast as well which Dan or Roberto keeps up with I believe but um yeah Roberto tell them where you can find you at pretty much anywhere on the internet as RJR2992 alright and clicker you can find me um, at Boclex, so B-O-W-K-L-E-K-S, or you can find me on Twitter at O-Klecker, O-H-K-L-E-K-E-R. All right, Sean, go and tell them where you can find you at, and tell them a little bit about what you do as well, since you do a lot of other things as well. Okay, um, so I guess the main other thing that I do that's all thing is stream uh, over at Twitch, which is twitch.tv slash RoyShadow, R-O-Y Shadow. Um, there I just... Either I do just, be, you know, just gameplay, casual gameplay of games, uh, and I also have been speedrunning Mega Man Zero, and I'm planning on picking up a new game, I'm just not sure what game I'm going to route. Uh, and also, upcoming, uh, because a friend wants me to do it, 
I'm going to be uh, kind of doing a challenge run through of the original Descent game, oh. and oh boy, is that going to be difficult! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, don't and... forget our we're, we're going to be doing the thing with Klecker here soon. Yeah, with, uh, that's true. Oh, and that's going to be so good. The what? dating sim no. playthrough. No, yeah, yeah exactly. You're play a visual now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, you agreed to this. Aside from that, when uh, did I, I agree had... to this? <laughs> <laughs> By being a Sean Finnish Klecker. I also have a YouTube that I believe is just, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I usually upload You can tell next there, week. But... It's okay. Exactly. And most <laughs> of the highlights that I have anyways, I'll, I'll probably put up on Pseudorandom's uh, channel anyways. Uh, and if you need to find me on Twitter, it's at Nexus99, N-E-X-A-S-9-9. And that's all I got. All right, cool. Um, so, yeah, thanks, everybody, for listening. We've been the uh, Pseudorandom Podcast. Uh, once again, next week, we're going to be talking about the... Um, Volume two of uh, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer and Ore Twin Tales ni nar- uh, Narimasa. Na- Narimasa, yeah. yes. I always fucking get caught up with that. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for listening and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.